Magella and I are on the road again. Off we go. Let's do it. But where we're headed, we have no idea until we open our daily itinerary. About to big new houses is amazing. Did you ever see as many of them? You know. No, no, I haven't. You're right. Oh Still my God, Magella! But you have to say they're huge. If you say that one more time, the amount of new houses. We've handed the B&B owners of Ireland complete control of our journey. Can't believe it now. Are you excited? I'm, am I excited? I'm about to wet myself. Our hosts are ready to serve up unforgettable experiences. Ah! Oh! <laughs> no, I have nothing for you at all. Dallion! <laughs> Dallion! Oh! And all that's left for us to do is buckle up and get ready to enjoy our latest B&B road trip. Day seven of our road trip begins on a high note. Imagine halfway there already. Oh, da -da -da -da. That's very high, you're too high. La -da 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 -da. You're a wild cocker. Mm, living on a prayer. Mind you now, that turn. We see now what does this say today? Ooh. So it's the Farnham View B and B Brindrum Cavern. We haven't yeah. done Cavern before, have we? Never been to Cavern. Located just outside Cavern Town, surrounded by rich countryside, Farnham View B and B is run by Jean Crow. Hello, Farnham View Bed and Breakfast. My name's Jean and we're in Farnham View Bed and Breakfast here in Calvin. Myself and my husband and our four lovely little children. <laughs> Morning. Jean, 38, has been running Farnham View B&B for 10 years. Jean's husband, PJ, custom built the B&B. Now, he's the bossy one. Sure, I have to hoover, shopping, mind the children. Flat out. And all that when you're on the farm. <laughs> on the farm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if PJ did the last too long in the B&B, it's... He wouldn't have his cows to talk to. Front of house manager, Geraldine, is Jean's right-hand woman. I'm working here for Jean uh, for about six, seven years now. I have eyes for you to give you dirty looks. That's your fault Jean, again. where's my little silver dish? Jean, where's the sharpest knife in the world? Jean, the sharpest knife in the world? Missing. Always missing. We were actually very good friends. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> she hates this pet. Yes, Jean, and your little ding ling ling Charlie. The pair often mistaken for sisters. <laughs> Did I tell you I was so... Oh, jeez, I've nearly broke the tightest. You just sit down and relax there, Geraldine. Oh, she know me. Geraldine could give Daniel a run for his money with a song for every county in Ireland. Lock out around the road I go, not seen beyond compare. And I curse the time. God, whore, not fucking bell. You have a county for every song. <laughs> a song for every character. Even that. Yeah. Jean's parents, Anne and John, live next door, and if you have a clock to be fixed, John is the man for the job. Well, now, if only you'd have enough time to polish all the clocks in this house. Some people find it very therapeutic to take enough a clock. He also loves cycling on his penny farthing. Oh, mother of God. Surely to God will not be on a penny farthing bike. I doubt it. Try not to fall off us. Oh, Jesus! Don't hit the cars. Anything you can do, I can do better. Huh? These are like Lauren and Hardy going round and round. <laughs> The entire household are country music fans, and Jean once uh, caught Daniel O'Donnell's dicky boy at a concert. She was only probably four at the time. And well, she had to cut it in half, give a friend of hers one half, and she's, I don't know if she still has the other half, you'd have to ask her. I must ask her that myself. As you're throwing out your dickies. No. <laughs> Rephrase that. Did you ever get a bra thrown at you? I think I did, maybe. I'm so stressed with Daniel coming. Hey. 
it's awesome. I'm just, we've never had anyone as big as this before. I love that whiskey. I hide stuff, so it is. We have a very important guest coming this morning. You have to look after Daniel. We have to look after Daniel. It's a big thing for Cam. It's, it's huge. huge. Yeah. But I mean, we're so proud. We're very proud. Beautiful. Fit for the king and queen. Throw it into you. Down the hatch. Oh, jeez, leaves a drop. Sorry, hold on. Of There'll be no kissing now. Be no kissing because I've cold sores. My herpes up. Oh, I'm not ashamed. I'm not talking about you. Them. I'm talking about the B and B owners. Oh, I see. Where were you? Did you stop in the sham for a pint? Right, thanks, Poppy. It's really happening. Come on, warm it up, warm it up. Oh my Hi. goodness, I wonder what they'll be thinking of. Can't believe it now. Are you excited? Am, am I excited? I'm about to wet myself. We're almost as excited as our hosts as we arrive at Farnham View B and B. Oh my God! Here it is! Oh my God! Oh, balloons and all outside. Ah, oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh my God! I'm an Everick. I see someone at the door. Nice How to you see you. You're very welcome. How are you doing? Oh, how are you? <laughs> I came yeah. to get me dickie, bo. <laughs> <laughs> what a house, eh? Oh, no, it's not as nice as yours, Daniel. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Inside, a musical welcome awaits us. Then sings my song, my saviour God to thee. Jean leads the way to our room. These are lucky these are on this floor not to keep fit sweet upstairs. <laughs> yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. I think we're fit enough to get to here, but not fit to get any further. Now, guys, this That's is lovely. your room, and I hope you'll be very comfortable here. Sure we will. Mm -hmm. I'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can see something straight away. Oh, look at the face cloth. I told you. High class B&B. &B. Now, there you are. I was shaking. I don't normally get this sort of sort of flutter thing. I could have did with a Xanax nervous, like, that's how nervous I was. Oh, look at this. Farnham View Bed and Breakfast welcomes Daniel and Magella. With a lake for every day of the year, your stay in cabin would not be complete without exploring at least one. So join us hmm. on Brackley Lake for a drifting experience like, like no, no other. other. Drifting. I don't know what will that mean now. I don't know. Drifting. He will be drifting in the direction of the lake, and the rest we'll have to just wait and find out. It might be time for a slow getaway. Jesus. Well, let you go now, right? Right, well, let you go now, right? Don't let that man fall off. Oh, ho oh. ho! I think he'll have to go to calf. <laughs> Although still not quite sure what's in store, we are ready to explore this Lakeland County. This is Brackley Lake. No, you didn't think it's down here to look at the lake, I'm no, sure. No, we'll have a little look first anyway. Huh? We're taking the beauty of it oh, all. Oh, mother it of God, don't it tell me this speedy thing, thing is... Are we going on that thing there? Oh, God. <laughs> I hate speed. Hey, I love it. My God. <laughs> it's so dying on Magella. Is it like a hovercraft? It's that much like a hovercraft. It is a hovercraft. It is a hovercraft. Oh, my God. You ready to have a go? Let's see if you can get the quickest time in, OK? It wouldn't turn over, would it? No, it only happened once, I think. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Once is enough. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Young Daniel can hardly look, and I don't blame him, especially with speed demon Magella around. <laughs> Jesus, I don't like that. Luckily, I have some support from the sideline. Daniel! 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 It's a race against the clock around the course of four red boys. Fastest lap wins, and I'm first to hit the water. Are you joining me, darling? I'm not a speed merchant at all. How many 
he saw Daniel heading off, he says, actually, I'm not on Daniel's team anymore, I'm on Magellan's team. It takes a lot to get this guy revved up. Oh. My lap times are going to be hard to beat. This is not what I imagined when you said drifting. Maybe Daniel needs a little motivation. There's 20 euro on it. Well, if there's money to be in. Daniel, your fastest lap time was a 51.90. Uh -huh. Magella, your fastest lap time was a 51.06. Well done. Hey. Oh and the women. <laughs> oh will you stop doing that, will you? I feel like I've been on a horse. <laughs> Yee oh, well, that was a day and a half. It's great, I really enjoyed it. It's working great. I know, I'm fantastic. going to be. It'll be only about 21 in the morning. Yeah. It's a bit mad to think that they're up in room four. I really hope they're comfortable now tonight, and I really hope that they sleep well. Well, actually, I know they're going to sleep well, because they've got the best bed in the house. Did you leave the medal behind you? Where is it? Did I leave a medal behind mm. me? That medal is going to stay close to my heart, ah, don't you ah, worry. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we'll have to put it on the breakfast table in the morning. Then. Yeah. Coming up in County Louth, expectations at the Glide Inn are on a high. Is he here yet? Is he here yet? <laughs> <laughs> and our arrival causes quite the destruction. Oh, d <laughs> <laughs> Say nothing. I think I can smell the, the breakfast. After a restful night, Magella and I are ready to sample Farnham View's breakfast. I'm just waiting for the orders, really. Jean, where's the toast? I can't get the staff, Jesus. Did you sleep okay last night? Great. Thank We're you. warm enough. Oh, yeah. But my boiler's broke, Daniel. Oh. You might look, will you look at it for me? <laughs> will you look at my boiler? <laughs> We've award winning sausages, a chocolate chip, honeycomb, do an aphrodisiac. We should have got them last night. Would you like to bring them home, <laughs> Daniel? Well, sure, maybe so. I'll try one, yeah. Well, I like the T-shirt. I know. <laughs> right. I forget what Magella asked for breakfast. Coffee and a hot water, Jean. Well, at least you remember that. Magella, I'll take tea. This is coffee. You got the tea and coffee wrong. Oh, so I did. 
She sings all our guests, but she's never sang to a singer, I don't think. We have our own Las Vegas in the hills of Donegal. I can hear her now. To Tipperary, it's a long way. To go without your mother, it's a long way. <laughs> ding, ding, breakfast ready. Mmm. It's nice and warm, you know. Is Jean doing the cooking? Jean's asleep. Oh. Jean's in bed. <laughs> <laughs> she isn't even up yet. Don't say I told her that, Daddy. Uh, it went very well. Everybody was very happy. Yeah. Went brilliantly. Time to hit the road again. We say goodbye to this entertaining duo. Thank you so much. Thank you. To the whole family, the Thank children and PJ and everybody. We had a great time. Safe travelling. God bless. All right, take care. Thank you. Back to reality now. Let's have a wee gin. Well, I look to see where we're going. Yep, quick, go on. Anna Gasson, Dunlear, County Loud. Ah! Once the capital of Ireland, Anna Gasson is now home to just 300 residents, including Anne and Paul of the Glide Inn. <laughs> well, I'm Anne. This is my husband, Paul. Paul O'Neill. Married 42 years, Anne and Paul have three children and have five grandchildren. Oh, well, we'll be able to discuss that side of things. I thought she was a lovely, lovely looking lassie. And very, very cheerful and gay and full of beans. Every time I go out, he'd bring me a box of chocolates, a box of milk tray. I discovered after he used to buy a box, a big box in the wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it paid off. <laughs> yeah, you were lucky, yeah. In 1978, Anne and Paul opened the doors of the Glide Inn with nothing but two barrels two mirrors and a borrowed cash register. I opened the business here on an Easter Sunday at four o'clock. I couldn't believe it and the place was packed. Really and truly, we never looked back. I have vague recollections of just dancing in the, in the bar with mum and dad singing and the harmonica going and it was fun times now growing up here. Having spotted a need for accommodation in the area, they decided to open a B&B &B 10 years ago. I was the push behind doing this big restaurant and then I want to do a B&B &B. and of course everybody thought, what's well, mad in the head. There were some rough times there, you know, it, it was it was, it was was pretty pretty tough. The bypass came then after. Very, very yeah, quiet. The bypass. The recession. Oh. Yes, with a bang. We had a heart and soul. We worked the nails of our fingers. We did, yeah. We started with nothing. I hope we won't end up with nothing, but anyway. What do I have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Connor takes care of the bar, restaurant and business marketing, while Anne and Paul focus on the B&B. &B. It's not my place, it's Paul and Anne's place. That's not wrong, Paul. I know it's not wrong, I'm only getting organised. <laughs> what would it be like working with you? Mother and father. It depends on what your mother and father are like. Did you take the order? You did? No. No, no. no but everything is an order. Everything is. <laughs> and you've nothing better to do, Paul, than stand there looking at me. Well, it's nice to look at a good looking woman, isn't it? Especially when they're walking and you're doing nothing. I think I'm doing well. What, what are you going to do now? You have to chop your fruit. <laughs> the plumbing There must have no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Anne is happy as being busy in the background while Paul entertains front of house. Although a little shyer, Anne has a beautiful voice. All those years, I was always in the background and rearing three children, so. It's only now, this is the first time I have really been out front, isn't it, Paul? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it really is, yeah, because I've been, yeah. He and Granddaughter Holly are also avid brush dancers. Oh. When you see the people doing the brush dance, they're brilliant. And you can't dance. Well, it's not so bad now, oh, isn't it? I'm practising. I don't think I'll be brush dancing when I'm 73. We're going to go for dancing class, isn't it? Oh, we are, yes. In our old age. No, we're not old. Excuse me. 
We're only in our 70s. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Now, I wonder what excitement will be in Paul and Anne's. Am I allowed to tell the guys here in the salon that Daniel and Magella are coming to stay with us? It would be great to have Daniel and Magella. I mean, it's not too often you have celebrities here in Annie Gaston, so... Is it a singer? Uh, Eugene McGinty. No. Daniel O'Donnell and his wife coming, Magella, this afternoon. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> They're a, oh, they're yeah, a lovely yeah, pair. Nice, that... yeah. Happy go lucky. Yeah. I saw right, Daniel. I'll navigate and drive. Go just, just relax. Mighty you are. They get on so well. Oh, shush. Do you think do I look good enough for Daniel? Let's not say that to Magella. <laughs> if you turn right in 2.5 kilometres, is he here yet? Is he here yet? <laughs> no sign of him yet, Anne. Oh, no, this is Annie Gaston. Huh? Oh, we're right in the sea. Oh, it's lovely. And it seems the sea air may have gone to our host Paul's head. Oh, be Jane, there's me man. <laughs> Hello, Daniel. Hello there. You're very welcome. How are you doing? Are you coming in by door or by window? Well, we'll come whichever way suits you best. Well, you're the boss. I'm only the boy. I think we'll try the door. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, nice to see you. Lovely to see you. See you. You're very lovely welcome. to meet you. Hello, uh, how are you doing? Nice you're, to see you. You're very welcome. Oh, thank you very you're much. Very welcome. Good to meet yeah. you. Good to meet you. Brilliant. Inside, we're eager to check out our sea view room. Oh, so lovely, I hope you'll be yeah. very comfortable now. Oh, we will. No, thank you. Thank See you, you later. Thank you. Wow, look at the sea. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, I didn't expect oh, that. Oh, my God, look at the face. <laughs> Wrapped in a bow. Uh, just for you. <laughs> just for you. Read that. Dear Daniel and Magella, you're invited to a fantastic night of opera in the Glide oh. Inn. Oh. Evening wear is essential. Grand. Look at the balcony. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, I presume they're up in air. <laughs> Room number three, looking out at the tide, or relaxing reading the ta tattler. <laughs> Say nothing. That was one of the best! Oh, stop. Look what happened. <laughs> As I keep saying, we take it as a great honour that they've decided to come here, and I hope they're enjoying it now, anyway. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. It's a wild start to Anna Gasson. Downstairs in the Glide Inn restaurant, locals are gathering for a night at the opera. Everybody, their eyes are just dancing behind the come in. They're so excited about it. Daniel and Majala O'Donnell. If anybody said to me a few years ago, you know, Daniel would be coming to Annie Gaffin, you wouldn't believe it. But there's no place we'd rather be than here listening to opera singing husband and wife, Gavin and Nicola's beautiful rendition of Ness and Dorma. I have to get into the plate when it's finished. Oh, no, it's no. that good. I just heard some wonderful comments about how nice he smells. <laughs> no, I don't. He's the man tonight. Daniel is going to join us in a song, Panis Angelicus. Getting kind of emotional. 
you know, you're in there, and all of a sudden you're put out here in the spotlight. It has never happened to me. I, feel, I think I feel I'm about 40 years younger. <laughs> Oh, Stoney, that's <laughs> the best woman in the world. I thought I went to heaven and came back again. It was just beautiful. Join us next time as our b, &B road trip continues. Donegal isn't quite as peaceful as usual. <laughs> for speed continues in County Fermanagh. <laughs>